Hello and welcome to week seven live chat talking about all the things that are important about medical records and the law because you have to remember that those of us who work in health information management are also tasked with training and ensuring that staff members comply with the laws that we have to follow for our segment of the healthcare industry. And one of the things we want to talk about today is the wonderful, beautiful creation of life. It's not really a law but it's information that you need to know. So the beginning of life happens when Mr. Spermy goes swimmy, 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 all the way up into the fallopian tubes at the same time that the ovary drops an egg into the top part of the fallopian tube and they meet somewhere in the middle of the fallopian tube and a zygote is created. Now, many of you may not have known that this actually happens in the fallopian tube. You know, that first date, that getting together between Mr. Sperm and Mr. Miss Oocyte, okay? So, as you probably know from high school biology, each oocyte, the egg, has 23 chromosomes. And each sperm has 23 chromosomes. And so when they get together, they create a zygote that then has a complete set of 46 chromosomes, which is what you have and what I have, okay? All right, so it's a zygote until about week two. And then from week two through week eight is known as the embryonic period, or this is the embryo. So we start out as a zygote, we're a zygote for two weeks. Then for six weeks, we're an embryo. Now, while the embryo is working, Okay, now attached to the wall of the uterus, external structures of the human body, internal organs begin to form. The placenta, the umbilical cord, the amnion, the yolk sac, and the chorion are established. This is all during this six week period up through week eight, pregnant for two months. Okay, at week eight, the embryo is one inch, one inch in length, that big. And on its week eight anniversary birthday, it gets to be a fetus. And it then is a fetus from week eight up through the time of delivery, okay? All organ systems are now in place. Interesting, huh? All right. Gestation is the medical term for the length of pregnancy. You know, time in the oven. Okay. It's measured in trimesters. You probably have heard this. Beginning on the first day of the last menstrual period, the last the first day of the last menstrual period. So the last time the woman had a period, the day it started, that's gestation begins, okay? The first trimester is two weeks long from the first day of the last menstrual period to less than 14 weeks, zero days. So that's really 13 weeks, six days, okay? Second trimester starts on the day, uh, the day the 14th week starts, okay? Now remember, this is now a fetus because it became a fetus at week eight. 14 weeks to, this, this should be two, or up through 
up through just under 28 weeks. So 27 weeks, six days. That's the second trimester. And then 28 weeks until delivery is considered the third trimester. But there are also some things that you should know about gestation because just like people, every pregnancy is different. Okay, so a preterm or a preemie or a premature neonate, gestation of 28 completed weeks. So that's 28 weeks, six days or more, but less than 37 completed weeks, okay? Because a full-term baby is at least 37 weeks. So that's between 196 days and 258 completed days. A post-term neonate is over 40 completed weeks up to 42 completed weeks. So that tells you that the normal birth, the normal cooking time, if you will, for the baby is 37 to 40 weeks. Okay. Now I want, just want you to note and um, that we all get so used to believing and thinking that pregnancy is nine months. But you'll notice that 40 completed weeks, the top end of a post-term or a regular term baby, that is 10 months. So it really is nine, nine months to 10 months in that area as opposed to up to nine months, okay? All right. A post-term baby, a post-term neonate, it's a neonate for the first 28 days after birth. So a post-term neonate is, has been in gestation over 40 weeks up to 42 weeks. And a prolonged gestation of a neonate is more than 42 weeks or 294 days or more. And yes, it can happen. Just like we have babies being born at six months, it's logical to understand that babies that may need to, for whatever their reason is, be born early would also mean that there are gonna be babies that are not ready yet to come out. Whatever their reasons are. Sometimes you can argue with them, sometimes you cannot, all right? So this is just to give you an idea and also to thoroughly understand the terminology that is used in healthcare with regard to that beginning of life. The moment the zygote is created, all the way up to a prolonged gestation of a neonate. And then we have a party. Okay, pretty straightforward, right? All right, so this week you're gonna read chapter 11, the beginning of life and childhood, which is what we just talked about. And then you're gonna take your quiz, do your homework, and you already know or should know that I'm here for you. I'm here for you, so just email me. We can email back and forth. We can set up an appointment to speak on the phone. We can Skype, we can Zoom, we can FaceTime. Whatever it is you need, I'm on your side to help you learn so you can have a successful career, okay? All right, I'll see you in the course room.